Hey, it's Leanne Betts here and welcome to What's Up Wednesday. So today I want to share with you five feng shui blunders that can hijack the success in your life. Um, many of you may not know this, but I am a life coach and in addition to that, I have my feng shui practitioner certification through Mount Royal University. And feng shui is my secret weapon to bring more success into my life and into the lives of the women that I coach um, and the consultations that I do for feng shui. So I want to share some of those things with you today. So um, this past week, I've been able to do three business consultations, so to help support business people to have more success in their life. And with a couple of my private coaching clients, I've been able to weave in some feng shui elements which help support them in achieving the goals that they want in their life. So um, today I'm going to share the blunders with you, why they matter, and then how you can fix them so you can see if you've got this going on in your life. So let's do it, okay? All right, so for those of you who don't know what feng shui is, uh, a quick and simple definition is it's an ancient art of energy placement. So that makes sense, right? So let's go into the blender. So blender number five. Do you have a mirror directly when you walk in your front door? Because if you do, soul sister, that's bad feng shui because what happens is is the mirror reflects back the energy your door your entry is the mouth of the energy coming into your home so if you have a mirror directly in front the energy is gonna bounce back and guess what no energy no success right so mirrors aren't bad they just have to be in the right place so here's the fix Move the mirror from directly in front of you to one of two places. You can put it, let's say I'm walking into my house and then I'm walking through the door into my house. You can actually have it on either side of your door and it's reflecting in. So it's actually helping push the energy into your home. Or if you don't have room there to put it, you can either put it on the left side or the right side on those walls when you're coming in. I would avoid putting it on both because they're going to be competing and it's going to be a bit of frenetic energy. So either put it on the left or put it on the right. And this helps usher in the fresh new energy to set you up for success and to nourish you in your home. Okay, so got it? So uh, move the mirror if it's right in front of your door. Okay. Um, the next, the fourth one I'm going to count down is do you leave your bed unmade? Because if you do, soul sister, that is bad feng shui. So the bed represents general success in feng shui. So if you don't make it, how successful are you going to be, right? In a metaphorical sense. And also, I think as women, when we have things out of order, it really bothers us more than men. So just the regular ritual of making the bed feels like you're complete and then you can start your day. And it's super nice when you get home and you go to go to bed and it's made. It's not just like, oh yeah, I forgot to make the bed today, right? So make your bed. And another thing that I like to do that I've talked about a lot is I like to use a bed and linen spray that I make myself, a do-it-yourself one. I get one of those blue spray bottles. I put in 10 drops of cedarwood essential oil, 10 drops of lavender essential oil. And then what I basically do is um, put a pinch of salt and some water in my spray bottle and then I spray my bed before I make it. So it just feels fresh when I get into it at night. And it smells really good and it's a good way to start the day. So the third blunder in feng shui that is very common is having your desk facing the wall. So your desk represents your career success. So if you have your success or your, sorry, your desk shoved up against a wall, you're cutting yourself off from career opportunities, from promotions, from raises, from clients. They can't even get in front of you in a metaphorical sense. And feng shui is all about that, right? 
So what you want to do is you want to open yourself up to opportunity. So flip your desk around. Flip your desk so it's facing outward. You can see your door. You're supported by a wall behind you and you have a different outlook. You can reach across your desk to shake the hand of your new client. So it makes a huge difference. And interestingly enough, look at teenagers. They never study at their desks. They study at the kitchen table. And that's because it's open and it's expansive and it's not closed off. So it's easier to focus. So try that. Now, the number two uh, feng shui blunder is having the floating couch. Because soul sista, that's bad feng shui. So what I mean by the floating couch is it's in the middle of your room and it's not supported by a wall or it doesn't have anything supporting it behind it. So your couch represents your social life success. So it needs to be supported. So put your couch against the wall if you can. And if you can't, make sure you anchor behind your couch. So you could have a sofa table behind your couch. You could add plants. Um, maybe a chest. I have a love seat in my home, but because of our floor plan, I can't have it against a wall. Um, so I do have a chest and a plant behind it to ground it. And um, yeah, so make sure you anchor your couch so you can have social life success. And then we're now down to the number one blunder in feng shui. And guess what that is? Do you have too much stuff. Do you have too much clutter? Because clutter totally stagnates energy and you need to make room for success. If you have too much stuff, there's no room for it to enter your life. So if you got clutter soul sister, that's bad feng shui. And you know, we're now going into spring cleaning. Uh, well, not quite. I'm a little bit, uh, ahead of myself there but it's around the corner and it's a you know clutter can be top of mind for us so um, and also it's like a really quick way to change your energy is to de declutter and to bring new opportunities into your life I wanted to tell you a few things about clutter clutter causes fights couples on average have 32 fights per year just because of too much stuff clutter causes bad health Weight gain is something that I see frequently because the energy can't move in your space when you have too much stuff. So you're actually holding on to the weight yourself or you might have ill health because of it because the energy can't flow uh, within your home. The other thing is it wastes time. Clutter, like Americans spend 9 million hours per day searching for lost items. Like that's unbelievable. And also, if you declutter, you can save up to 40% of your housework. Like cut it right out. So just imagine what you could do with all that time, right? So um, I wanted to let you know I'm relaunching my signature program, which is called the Bust Your Busy Badge 30 Day Challenge. It's gonna be coming up this spring. I'm going to, I help people declutter their lives. Well, I help women declutter their lives in this program. But not only that, I weave in some amazing feng shui wisdom in the very important parts of your home to set you up for success in your life so that you can have more um, space, of course, more energy, more time, and more freedom in your life. And who doesn't want that, right? So check out BustYourBusyBadge.com. The next session will be coming up this spring. And in the meantime, go and get your juju going with these tips that I've shared with you today. So until next week, have a great week. Thanks for joining me.